Triple bang. Th- th- 30 crackers drunk, throwing pallets on a bonfire. Scars on our arms from the county board wire. Cross tracks, jumping jack, sipping Jimmy out of flats. Lick a beat, struck a match. Yo, we buddy scratch my back. I'm, I'm on Pine Creek. What's up, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big D, back at it with another reaction video. Hell yeah, I got a request from Beaston to go check out another Creed Fisher song. Now, this is by Creed Fisher, and it's called Try to Burn This One. Hell yeah. Beaston, I want to thank you for your request. He's been with me for a while. He chimes in from time to time and drops requests. But anyways, thank you, man. I want to enjoy. I want to thank all the new subscribers I got in the past month and a half. Thank y'all so much. It means a lot to me. But anyways, we're gonna get up in it. And if you enjoy this reaction, smash that like button, drop a comment, and let Big D know what you think about this song by Creed Fisher. Try to burn this one. Hell yeah! So let's get up in it. And thank you for watching. Definitely love the shirt. I was raised up to believe in the good old USA It makes my heart swell up with pride when I see old glory wave If you don't That's love right. it, leave it Ain't no need to put it down If you don't love the flag, leave it Man, I definitely love this song already He's got some awesome, awesome songs One other thing I reacted to was uh, if you got the right to burn this flag, I have the right to kick your ass. But anyways, hell yeah. If you don't love the flag, man, leave it alone. Quit trying to destroy this country. You've already took so much out of this country, it's, it's killing this country. And even prayers and stuff like that, y'all took them out of school, and look what you got, man. I remember every, every morning we had to stand in front of that flag every morning. And I think they should bring all that back. If you don't love it, leave it. Ain't no need to put it down There's a line that you don't cross And I'm telling you right now I don't start no shit, won't be none That's right. These colors, they don't run Why don't you try to burn this one? Hell yeah. My love for that red, white, and blue I take it to my grave That's right. I stand up and salute to the good old USA your daddy should have bent you over his knee and busted your ass, son. Man, he's talking about he stand up to the flag. I always stand up. I know a lot of true American people do, and the ones that kneel should be kicked upside their damn heads so damn hard they have to roll down their socks to take a shit. But anyways, that kneeling part, man, only time I ever kneel is when I'm praying to God, tying my shoes. But, you know, you see a lot of them little groups that burning these American flags and stuff, they do it around their little groups that don't love this country anyways. And it's not only just kids. You see a grown-ass adults out there doing it too. It's I don't even really see people from other countries doing what a lot of these people in this country was born and raised in this country doing this country. I see a lot of them destroying this country. I don't see, I don't see, I don't see no Mexicans out there or any other people come from different countries in here. I don't see them out there writing and doing all this tearing up cities and shit, burning flags. It's the people who was born in this country and it's kids and older older gentlemen that has that has or to even know better even after doing that shit. But anyways, he said he ain't gonna do it in front of him, and I guarantee you wouldn't do it in front of a lot of people that love his country and love his flag because you probably get your ass stomped in the ground. Busted your ass, son. That's right. You and your buddies think you're tough. Why don't you try to burn this one? Kids these days don't understand. Freedom still ain't free. That's right. The price was paid by the men who died, so we can all live in peace. Man, ain't he speaking the truth right there? Is Thousands and thousands of thousands way before my time has lost their life so we can have peace in this country and freedom and all that what we have today and people are still fighting so we can still keep that and keep terrorists out and stuff keep them trying to bomb us and all that stuff it's still doing it man still living people still even young kids that is going and fighting for our freedom 
and losing their life so we can have freedom and peace and all that. Price was paid by the men who died so we can all live in peace. That's right. All your bitching and complaining about the things that you don't have. It's out there if you want it. Just gotta get off of your ass. That's right. Don't start no shit, won't be none. These colors, they don't run. Why don't you try to burn this one? Hell yeah. My love for that red, white, and blue, I take it to my grave. I stand up and salute to the good old USA. Your daddy should have bent you over his knee and busted your ass, son. Man, talking about your dad should bent you over your knee and bust your ass, son. Man, nowadays you can't even whoop your kid out. Somebody calling and complaining, and the last thing they say probably for the hang up, don't tell me who you heard it from, or don't tell you who called her, don't don't tell you where I live at her. People always want to be nosy and complain. And when I grew up, my dad beat the damn brakes off my ass. He's hit me so damn hard, I he put me in damn pause mode. But anyways, uh, I've had to pick my ass up several times. And I, I turned out just fine. But nowadays, you can't whoop your... I mean, I'm, I still whoop my kid because he's going to listen to me one way or another. And I say it like this. If you don't like it, come on over here. I'll whoop your ass. I mean, cause I'm going to make mine mine. So when he gets older and I'm not lo here, not around no lo any longer or whatever, he's going to learn from right and wrong and what to do and what not to do and all that. And you got to teach him at a young age. But nowadays, you can't do that. I mean, I've seen... I understand that you, some people do go a little too far about whooping their kid because they take a little bit too much anger out on them, but it's the right way to do it. But I'm going to make mine. I ain't going to sit there and tell him 500 times to stop doing one damn thing. Second time, he's getting his ass whooped. And I think uh, they should let parents start whooping their kids out getting in trouble or, or somebody calling and complaining, nosy-ass neighbors and shit. Should have bent you over his knee and busted your ass, son. Why don't you try to burn this one? Take it to my grave. That's right. I stand up and salute to the good old USA. Man, he's talking about stand up, saluting to the flag and all that. That's how we was raised. And these people kneeling to their knees in front and toward this flag. That is so disrespectful for the ones that fought and lost their lives and, you know, being away from their family. A year at a time, only come back for a few months and have to be gone a year for another year, whatever, how long they stay gone. And you got these people out here want to kneel. That is so disrespectful. And especially these ones making millions and millions of dollars. They should be ripped their contract up, make pay what the rest of their year back, whatever, and not even have a job for kneeling. But the problem is nobody they won't say nothing to them or do anything to them. I stand up and salute to the good old USA. Your daddy should have bent you over his knee and busted your ass, son. Yep. You and your buddies think you're tough. Why don't you try to burn this one? Why don't you try? To burn this one. Hell yeah, Creed Fisher, man. Hell yeah, I dig this daggum song, man, because he is speaking nothing but the truth. Now, you, like I said, you see them burning their, the flag in front of their little groups and stuff. You don't see them burning it in front of people that love his country and love his flag because I'm guaranteed you probably get your ass stomped in the ground. It might be even worse. I dig his shirt, man. I dig his rings, man. I was there looking at his rings. It looks like he's sitting in maybe like a 57 uh, car or something, uh, 57 Chevrolet or something. But anyways, I dig the song, uh, Whooping Kids. 
I believe in whooping my kids. I, I got my ass whooped when I was growing up. My dad got his whooped, and I whoop my kids even today. They're going to listen one way or another. I mean, it irritates me seeing parents keep telling their kids over and over and over. As long as you're doing that, they're just going to keep doing it, and you might as well just blow your top and not even do nothing about it because you're not going to make a mind. They're just going to keep doing it. But, you know, I was always raised the second time your ass was getting whooped. It wouldn't never know a second time. Second time you're getting your ass whooped. Uh, you think you're bad. You think you're you're bad in front of all your little people and stuff, burning the flags. Uh, you wouldn't do it in front of him. Uh, man, I, people kneeling down to the flag. That's very disrespectful. Uh, I don't believe in it. I was always taught to stand up. Uh, man, the ones that kneel, man, I tell you what, it grabs my eye. It makes me just want to go up there and 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 do a roundhouse kick them inside their damn head. But because uh, it's very disrespectful for the ones that's fighting for this country and has lost their life for this country, just so you can have freedom and you turn around and disrespect them because you, you, it's not your beliefs or whatever. I don't know what changed. I mean, if you don't believe in it, go go somewhere where you ain't got to, you know, don't do it in front of hundreds and thousands of people that love this country because it's disrespectful for everybody. Uh, all this craziness shit going on today, uh, a lot of it's got to do where you can't make your own kids mind. They took shit out of schools. They took the flags out of school. You can't stand up and do the Pledge of Allegiance in the mornings and do a prayer in the mornings. They took all that out. I mean, just they're whittling it away a little at a time, and you see this world just changing day by day, getting worse and worse. But anyway, man, I love this song. Thank you, Beaston. I hope y'all enjoy it. Hope I didn't ramble on too much. Uh, thank all the new subscribers I got in the past month and a half, two months. Thank y'all a lot. Uh, I enjoy reading your comments. I do I do get some hate comments, but y'all probably don't see them because they send them, I guess, like private. And I can only see them, but I can't click on it or, and read the whole thing. Or I can't comment back, and y'all can't see them because they hide behind the computer. And they don't want you to say nothing back to them because they're one-sided. You know how one-sided it is? They want to they wanna say something, and then they take off running. They don't want you to say nothing back because they don't want to hear the truth. But anyways, yeah, I do talk quite a bit sometimes. I do try to watch and keep the uh, videos down to a minimum. But anyway, sometimes you get a little carried away with all this crazy shit going on today, and you just want to speak your part of my, your piece and, and all that. But anyway, I kind of see it like this. A lot of people love my videos and stuff. And if you don't like it, you ain't got to watch it. Nobody's telling you to subscribe to my channel. Nobody's telling you to watch it. You ain't got to leave hateful comments. I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I watch a lot of other reaction people. They got their own ways of doing things. Some talk more than I do, some talk less. It just depends. But I don't get on there and hit this like because I, I don't like their opinion on something. I mean, I do enjoy watching their videos. But, anyways, uh, thank the ones that do leave uh, nice comments. Uh, I know I do get a little rat rave over here sometimes, but, you know, the way things are going on in this world nowadays, it, it don't take much to get bent out of shape the way uh, the far, you know, the far left and all them is treating this, uh, how they're treating this country and they're trying to destroy it and burning down a lot of your blue cities uh, and uh, states and all that, and they won't try to blame it on the other side. But anyways, it's my point. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoy it. Till next time, Big D is saying peace out.